bit of a hike to get up the hill there. Nothing like a quick stiff climb to get the blood pumping around the body, but we're up most of the way. We're probably three quarters of the way up the hill now, compensated by this magnificent view of the Zambezi Valley. Early morning. Got one more short little stint to get up on top of the hill, and then hopefully we'll be on a bit flatter ground. Then we can carry on. It's not warm, warm, but it's not cold either, so be after midnight sometime, maybe early, early in the morning, but just got a little bit of residual heat left. Yeah. A couple of hours ago. This one's a hell of a lot warmer. So we're catching them quite quickly.
of three cars on the right, they've all got tusks. Yeah. There's, there's another one down on the left I haven't seen yet. But those three are all tusks. We'll just wait and see if that, that back one goes. Did you see that one on the left? Ted, did you see the one on the left? I've seen three out of four have got tusks. The fourth one I haven't seen yet. Just gonna do a loop and try and get a look at that fourth one. Shoot her! Shoot! Shoot her! Okay, come back up the hill here. Come, come. Come. Shoot first. Hey? He had to shoot first. Yeah. Couldn't line it up in my scope well enough. I shot again, but she was turned the other way. It was so close. Yeah, it was, it was so close. Black. Close enough. See, the other ones always get a bit agitated as well. My mind's all screwed up. We mm. got in there, and I'm like, I'm yeah. not gonna put set up the sticks. Yeah, no, 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 you, we that, that range like that, you, yeah. and she was inbound to have a look as well. It was a bizarre shot for me for sitting on my freaking feet and then I fell yeah. over. Yeah, the rover, the rover. Did you see her go down? I can hear something like she's done. Those are the other cows? Yeah. Other ones? They're pissed. No, they're pissed off now. That's why they don't want you to... That's why you can't jack with them. You know, if fuck, another one finds you now. If you've got another one in your hands. Did you capture the whole thing? Outstanding. Me falling on my ass, too. <laughs> I got everything. <sighs> that happened a bit quickly, but... Right? Okay, we caught up with these cars and um, as I mentioned earlier, the wind's been really bad and it's been pretty thick. Um, we saw the cars, we thought they were headed down a valley. And in fact, um, so we were going to try and sneak around, get ahead of them. We had seen three of the four cars already and I did that they had uh, tusks. So there's a fourth one that we hadn't seen yet. So my plan was to get around above them a little bit and try and get ahead of them and just try and get a look at that fourth car. And unfortunately, they, they had peeled us. We sort of 
coming back up the, the valley towards us and we walked straight into them. And um, the one at the front, by luck, is tuskless. Um, first we try to back off and give ourselves some space because they're really close. I said, no, the only thing we can do is get back down in there and try and shoot that tuskless before the rest of them catch up. So we snuck down in there with Mark, we got, we got pretty close. And then the, that cow just started coming, to, coming for us. So um, we were trying to shoot, shoot, shoot. And uh, it wasn't, I think from where Mark was, it wasn't so easy and his scope was up a bit. So he couldn't really see it properly. And I got to my limit and I shot and you shot, vert, I mean, it was almost a double tap, you know. So um, none of them hit the brain, she peeled off, um, gave it a body shot and, and off they've gone down. I took a into shot the at the hip where she was leaving. Yeah, yeah. So we've got two more in there. But the other cars are down there. I'm pretty sure she's down. Can hear some gurgling and so on. I think she's down. Um, other ones, I think, are still hanging around there. So we, we're we not going to go and mess around with them. They're quite agitated. We'll just go out and try and find a, a road in here. But it happened very, very fast and um, not a particularly pleasant situation. It was uh, not what I expected. No. But, uh, it presented itself quickly and uh, yeah scope is up a bit when I looked through it oh I saw it was black uh, it, was the whole, it was her whole head I guess he shot and then I was able to kind of line up my sight and shoot okay. right after that it actually knocked me on my butt <laughs> because I wasn't positioned well and uh, racked another round and uh, hit her in the hip on the way out so uh, it's not exactly the way I wanted it to have happen, but it happened so fast. It was a very awkward situation. It's the situation. best I could. Yeah. It was a very awkward situation. I mean, we kind of hunched down like that. We couldn't even stand up properly with all that junk, you know, overhead. So shooting from a squat position. Yeah. I couldn't even get a knee down. Yeah. Yeah. Very difficult. Yeah. Anyway, we're safe. Um, that car should be down, and we'll we'll just let the rest of them settle down, and then we'll come and make a plan. For a bit. Yeah, I'm just, because we'll, I don't think those cars are going to leave anytime soon. I'm just going to meander around the side of the hill. There's a road that's not too far from here. If we go around the back of the hill and just try and find a place where we could possibly get a recovery vehicle in. Huh, wonderful. Congratulations, Mark. Congratulations. Thank you. Beautiful Thank you. big old car. Beautiful big old Tesla. Huh? Yeah. Thanks for coming. Um, Major Basta. You must end there. How do you feel, sir? Major Basta. Major Basta. Hey, Mo. Major Basta. How do you feel, sir? Uh, amazed. It's a gorgeous animal. Gave us a little bit of trouble, she did that. <laughs> That's what they're renowned for, these touchless cows. This side. They, they quite often fall down with that side because when, when she spun, she spun to the left side, to her left. Mm -hmm. So those ones, all the other ones are on the other side. When we roll it over, you'll be able to see it. Okay. Here is the culmination of our, our tuskless hunt. We've walked a lot of kilometers, done a few hard miles. We started off with a really nice climb this morning up into an escarpment, fresh tracks from last night. Um, it took us about maybe an hour, hour and a half to find find the herd. Um, they were in some, some pretty thick jazz. Uh, been a little bit tricky all day with the wind and so on, but um, when we found them, they, we saw three tusk cows, and then as we were trying to get a look right at the end, we saw this old tuskless cow. Um, things kind of happened very fast at that point. We, we tried to sneak down onto the same trail. Um, they caught us a bit by surprise. We snuck down on the trail, and 
This old girl um, had a go at us and we managed to stop her at about eight, nine yards. Um, got a couple of backup shots in and um, she didn't go very far at all. Um, um, so it's been quite an exciting morning to say the least. And with this great success at the end and the best part is that it's such an old, old, old car, very smooth heels, very worn, beautiful old car, just what we were looking for. And congratulations, Mark. Well done. Thank you, Dean. Thank you. Appreciate Thank it. you. Yeah, what an experience. It was um, an adrenaline elevating event when I mean, she got that close. Uh, she's big and uh, shooting could have gone a bit better, but we got her. Uh, as we came down upon her, uh, I was just happy to see that she was really old and, uh, you know, she's had a good life and uh, we were lucky that uh, we were able to come upon her. It was it happened fast, though. Very uh, quickly. Nothing that I had uh, visualized in my mind from all the preparation. This was, uh, this was a quick event, but successful all in all.